Bailey's are an, a really uh, carefree perennial that are easy to take care of and they have so many varieties with incredible color differences, um, bloom shape differences, and they're just a wonderful addition to any perennial garden and your landscape. Wildwood Farms Daylilies is a two acre garden of field grown daylilies. Um, we're located south of Floyd by about 4.8 miles. We're on Route 221. The gardens opened in 1999 and that's when we began adding to our collection of, of daylilies and we probably grow around 1,500 varieties. Daylilies grow very well in, in this area of Virginia. Um, they love the, the climate because of the freezes in the winter and then the heat we have in the summer. Um, they're very easy to grow. We have a lot of species daylilies along the roadways. You might notice when you, when you go um, you know, to different places, the orange flowers that are blooming in June and early July, those are species daylilies. Um, and so the hybrids just, you know, became very easy for people to grow and, and have in their, in their perennial gardens or their landscape. You can plant daylilies pretty much in our climate in the, in the southwestern Virginia area from April until September. We start doing our own planting and you're able to start planting in April. If you do get them planted that year, um, before the bloom season, you'll get bloom out of them that same year, and then you'll have your normal size flower during that um, time for you. But you can plant daylilies all the way up until September. It's just really good to get daylilies planted about a month before your first freeze so that they have time to get established. You can put some mulch around them to help protect those roots. There's, there's no special care for daylilies prior to winter. There are people who, who like to cut back the foliage and let them get a new flush of foliage in the fall. Um, there are some people who like to leave the foliage as some extra mulch. Daylilies are like any perennial, they like to be mulched just to help protect the roots, to make sure they hold water. But other than that, there's really no special care that they need, other than aesthetics. If you don't like the looks of the of the bloomscapes that are um, you know dying back after they've completed their bloom season, you know you can take those out. But there's nothing you have to do to daylilies to make sure you winterize them per se. I chose to do daylilies because of how easy they are to take care of. As far as they they don't need special sprays, they don't need you know special care. And it was something that because of the incredible variety of flowers, and we thought that was something we could do on a bigger scale. We just love to have folks out here seeing the flowers when they're in bloom. But you know, you can come anytime from, we're open all year, we're open year round, and so people can come early in the season or after the bloom season. But if you're in the area and you can get by, we'd love to see you.